Howard gone for the final five games of the regular season, also fined $40,000. Terrence Williams of Michigan gets a one-game suspension. Musa Diabate also a one-game suspension. Both of those guys were fighting. And Wisconsin's head coach Greg Gard, he's fined $10,000. And tonight, Howard uh, issued a release and a statement. Up until this moment, he had not apologized, which was the most glaring omission on his part, but he had rectified the situation. Standing by live in Ann Arbor with what Howard had to say is our own Jason Colthorpe. Jason? And Bernie, that apology was first and foremost in this statement, but one other omission uh, in this statement uh, came from Howard, and that was something uh, that we a lot of people were expecting. Take a look. Yo! And Jawan Howard just threw a right hand. Following a five-game suspension by the University of Michigan, the four words tonight from Jawan Howard that many thought were a day late, I am truly sorry. Howard's written statement also apologized to Wisconsin assistant coach Joe Krabenhoff, who was on the receiving end of that slap in the handshake line that further enraged the situation. Reaction from around the basketball world is mixed on the severity of the suspension, which allows Howard to come back for the postseason, starting with the Big Ten tournament. From Dick Vitale tonight, quote, I feel it is fair and glad he wasn't fired. I hope he takes advantage of this and never, ever allows himself to lose control of his emotions. No suspension, though, for Wisconsin coach Greg Gard who initiated physical contact with Jawan Howard, whose intention appeared to be to just walk on by. Howard's statement did not mention guard, but finished with this. I speak a lot about being a Michigan man and representing the University of Michigan with class and pride. I did not do that, nor did I set the right example in the right way for my student athletes. I will learn from my mistake, and this mistake will never happen again. No excuses. And like you said, Bernie, it really can't happen again because he had something uh, kind of along these lines last year with Mark Turgeon, the former Maryland coach. And now this, he also apologized to his players, players' families, assistant coaches in their families, and all the UM fans around the world. And Bernie, can you even imagine that when he comes back for the Big Ten tournament, what do we find but Michigan versus Wisconsin somewhere in that tournament with uh, even another postseason berth on the line to that? Can you imagine that? Look forward to that's for sure. By the way, Phil Martelli will replace Howard for the five games he's gone during the regular season. Yeah, All right, long time in coming, but the word finally coming out uh, this evening. All right, Bernie.